Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Larry Minetti. I'm your host, Larry, and this is my beautiful wife, Nancy. Hi, come on in and join us. We're going to have Robert Wagner, Tom Selleck, and Mike Connors. They're going to cook, and we're going to have a great time. So come on in and join us. You promise? I promise. you got to believe her. I promise. Come on. Welcome back to What's Cooking. Here today with me is and Nancy is Tom Selleck, Robert Wagner, and Mike Connors. And of course, we all know Tom Selleck is Magnum P.I., that wonderful series, Three Men and a Baby, In and Out, and a lot of Westerns. Welcome, Tom. Thanks, Nancy. You're welcome. Are we going to do it this How stiff? How you doing, Mark? I'm, I'm doing fine. That was good. Thank you. I, like, yeah. I like that. Yeah. So, RJ, you've been on the road a lot, huh? Yes, I have. I, I, uh, go out on the road with a play called Love Letters with my wife, Jill St. John, and uh, I was going to take Mike with me, but yeah. uh, he wanted to play her part. Well, well we all know Mike Connors from uh, Joe Mannix, as, <laughs> from the series called Mannix. Now, he's also started this miniseries, War and Remembrance, and he's doing commercials for Globe Medical. Well, I, I really wanted to do Love Letters with RJ. <laughs> with the, I think you're perfect. Jill, huh? Do you? I think yeah. so. I think Mike, you'd be wonderful. I think I could do that. But Mike, you've yes. also got a new movie coming out called Gideon. That's, That's right, Gideon's soon. Web. Yeah. Gideon, Gideon's Web. Yeah. Right. Your voice might get in the way, though. Yeah, I think so. He has a wonderful voice. voice. He's got a great voice. I love his voice. He does. I, yeah. I certainly hope that we're going to have fun today. Do you think <laughs> you're going to? <laughs> well, um, Tom, I understand that uh, somebody has seen you in this magazine here. Why don't you show it to him? As He's over here. 50 of the most beautiful people. Oh. Well, I certainly Is that gorgeous or what? Huh? Yeah. Well, let me well. tell you something. If you do windows, I'm moving in with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know well, how long it took him to get that shot? To get the light three seconds. to cover up the stuff? No, Who no, took that, that was, picture? Uh, E.J. E, e. Camp, I think. Mm. She was great. This is a wonderful picture. Yeah, it is a good shot. I got campy, right. It's not campy at all. No, she's, she, if you ever get a chance, she's great. Oh, OK. I don't think she was a little flirty, which well, you she know, <laughs> turned you on a little bit. I don't think that well, he's Yeah, I mean, you got to have something going on in your eyes. And she was just really not, I don't know whether she was. I, I, I was hypothetically thinking she was flirting with me, and that helped. Okay, Detective Larry, do some flirting over here if you I'm, want to get something uh, I'm going I'm just here. listening to what, I, what he's saying, you know. It's um, Stars and Stripes. Remember we talked about that that day when I called you? He's talking he's to you. At, you don't know what Stars and Stripes is. This is his first big scene. You played the sousaphone in it. You mm -hmm. were fabulous. Is that what they call that thing? Yes, it yeah. was the story that of John Philip Sousa. That was a real instrument. Sousa. You played the sousaphone? Yeah. yeah, it was created by John <laughs> Philip Sousa. <laughs> I'm going to bring I this over one answer. night to the house and run this film. How do you think you. he got those beautiful lips? <laughs> and a sousaphone. Can John you Philip Sousa. <laughs> yeah, I had to learn how to play that thing. And it was a real instrument. It's a great big, big, big tube. <laughs> you play the big tube. Right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really happy to learn these things. But well, I, I think it you should go well on a golf course. When I was a sousaphone. When I, I think when I was playing the, the tuba, he was with Joan Crawford, wasn't yeah. it, around that time? But I wasn't playing a tuba then, I'll tell no. you that. Uh -huh. You know these two guys do Strangers of the Night? We have done Strangers of the That's Night right. you are on several occasions. As a matter of fact, we yeah. had the opportunity one night to do it for Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Do you think you and guys could, like, hum a few bars for us? And, and, no, be, we, oh. we, because... Well, i got to hear this. What did and, Frank and, do? Well, after we finished, Frank got up and said, <laughs> Let's get, get out. Hell. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. No, what but he said on. first, he turned to Barbara and he said, you know, Frank never liked that song at all. He hated it. He didn't like that. And he turned to Barbara and he says, that's the way I should have done that damn song, he said. Should we show him how we did it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strangers in, in the night, exchanging glances. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Then at, we couldn't at the get Tom end. to join us, though. Tom, Tom would have made it. Actually, a hit. I wasn't invited to the occasion, so you know. just I jumped in any time. I would, would have. Would you? Have, how about right now? Would yeah, you? That, right, that, right, come on, wait a minute. Oh here we go. God, we, this is great. Right, with icons. This is a yes. first. Oh, okay, ready? Here we go. Strangers in the night, 
<laughs> Exchanging glances, wandering in the night. I think he's getting it. Well, did you, you get it just got, for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you see it in the yeah, eyes? He lost he's it for a minute. Did I get that kind of blank, that yeah. scary stare? But it was stare. good. I Thank liked you. it. Yeah. Well, you guys are intimidating. Tom I'm and I worked together on a picture called Midway. Yeah, we did. You did? But we never worked together. No. What was that? Midway? Yeah. That was about the Japanese. Yeah, that was that was World War yeah. One. World War One. <laughs> you want to hear my line from Midway? Yeah, could I? Only could had I, one. Yeah. yeah, could I hear the line? God, they creamed us. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that is great. Well, that could I did go it that way. That, that could go in really any show good. today, couldn't it? But I coma? had a Thompson. I had the, the machine. You had the, the early World War Two helmet, automatic, the World War yeah. One one, the the big flat one, that, which I liked the suit. It made it John good. Wayne famous at one point. Yeah, no. Guys, you want to know what we're going to be cooking? Yeah, Next I learned up, we're that gonna in Star Trek. We're going to go to the kitchen <laughs> and we're going to cook escarole and bean soup and linguine and clam sauce. So That's we're going to go into the kitchen, one. okay? Listen, what's the name of that? So let's go take a look. What's when the you name of that soup that's so great? Escarole and bean. We're going to go yeah, make that. Escarole when bean. you went to, uh, no bean in yes. No, the other one. Oh, you know, the one with the pasta ball. Oh, yeah, pastina. the pasta ball. I just burnt pastina. Mickey Rooney's cigar in pieces. Later, celebrity correspondent Tanya Rush will share with you some of our guests' favorite foods and eating habits. Hi, folks. Welcome, Welcome back, back to What's Cooking, Cooking with Larry Minetti. We're, We're in the, the kitchen, kitchen with Tom Selleck, Robert, Robert Wagner, Wagner, and, and Mike, Mike Connors. Connors. Today, Thanks, you know what? We're going to cook escarole and bean soup and linguine with clam sauce. My favorite. But to make the soup, here's what we're going to need. We're going to need a quarter of a cup of olive oil, one bulb of garlic, chopped, two bunches of escarole chopped, Three cans of white beans retain the liquid, an eighth of a stick of butter, which is optional, crushed red pepper, salt and pepper to taste, two handfuls of Parmesan cheese, and six cans of chicken broth. Wow. How am I doing so far, guys? Excellent. Larry. Okay. Larry's going to saute the garlic. Oh, God, I'm you're doing ahead of me. Right now. Okay. And he's put the red pepper in, and salt and pepper. <laughs> Don't choke, honey. <laughs> Salt and pepper to taste. Larry, would right. you cover your mouth when you cough? Right. If you know you're talking. I mean, you know. Then after he does that, he is going to put in the beans yeah. with the juice still in them. He's going to try okay. to do that. He's going to try to do that. Right. You're exactly right. right. Okay. Doing good. I'm not sure. Throw that in there, babe. Okay. Larry, and then when it. you do that, you simmer Larry's that for okay. about 20 time. minutes. Then you're going to put in the escarole and you're going to cook the leaves until they're wilted. Right down. Here, get rid of this, dear. And then we're going to add <laughs> oh, the chicken broth. And Wait, you're going to simmer like another 20 minutes. minutes. Almost yeah, any night of the week. All right. We always do it just like this sitting Then right after here. that, you turn the heat off after it's what all you cooked. The lettuce? And right you'll now, add the I cheese and you'll stir it up it well. And that's escarole. how you make escarole and beans. Escarole? Yeah, not escargot. Escargot is a snail. Yeah. What's, what's happening, Tom? Tell me. He's lost it. No. Now, have you guys ever had escarole and beans? <laughs> no, no, I never have. Never. I have. You have. Yeah, yeah I eat around the, the You <laughs> eat around the escarole, I know. <laughs> beans, you just pick the beans the out. That's <laughs> salad. I know. Mike, you love escarole and beans. Oh, you bet I do. I love anything it's had. I really do. Bless okay. you. Yeah, Bless so when you. do we get to the linguine and clams? The linguine and clams. <laughs> That's a double L. That's it a, is. Yeah. I, you know, I always miss that second L. Yeah. How many ounces is this? As be? soon as he is finished cooking this, we will cook the linguine and clams. Excuse me? Oh, that's great. Yeah, the mean? linguine and clams. Is what was this that? This is six cans of chicken broth. Perfect. Chicken broth. Six cans for how many people? <laughs> for yes. Eight people. So, <laughs> no, eight it's for it's for eight people. This eight. is for eight people. This is yeah. for eight people. And there's no right. so there's no water at all. It's just chicken broth. It's chicken broth. There's no water. Now you know what escarole Water's is. Water is for cheese. Yeah. It is Italian lettuce, basically, right? Tom likes that. He green. likes all sorts Tom of lettuce. Tom loves all yeah. greens. Yeah. All yeah. Maybe what, if we could throw a couple of avocados on top of it, like came over from Italy. Or it, yes. Yes. That that lettuce came from Italy. Yes, we had it flown especially for you. That's got to be old lettuce. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. We they fly it, it. They it's fly it. Want to see something? It's not like the old days when oh. they used to bring it. Don't do that to Tom. He'll throw up. <laughs> could you eat? Could no. you eat that? Don't do any it, Tom. vegetables. <gasps> Tom, you ate it. That's very good. Can we get He's going to spit it out, that? isn't he? No, no. This is good lettuce. It it's is. when you wilt it. No, and I hate it. Doesn't like. Oh. Why do you wilt it in the soup? They don't wilt it in the soup. Because you cook it. Yeah. Okay. It's it's a vegetable. But it takes 12 hours to fly here with it. That's why it gets wilted. Now okay. we go to the polar no, no, roots. No, this is a different kind of thing. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> but they can get Armenian salad and lettuce in about four hours. Yeah. Now, 
Well, Here's maybe we should secret. try this with the Armenian lettuce. Nancy, yes. Nancy. Big secret Here is cheese. Oh, <laughs> two handfuls of Parmigiano <laughs> cheese. Yes, Parmigiano Reggiano. <coughs> Whose handful? The cheese has a last name. Larry's handfuls. Yeah. You know what Manetti means uh, in Italian? Hand. No. That's right. Little hand, hand, hand or hands. Hand. Little well, hand. A hey, Manetti little is hand. a hand. Manetti, you're right. Manetti. Little hand. Little hand. And little feet too, isn't it? You know, no, that's Fanetti. What was that character in High <laughs> Chaparral? what shoes I'm wearing. Oh, oh, that was Mono. He's cute, that's isn't he? You know like, like, is he? Isn't he cute over the stove like that? He's getting a little color in his face. You know what makes the heat <laughs> very warm and coming you up. You know what Mae West said about big hands, <laughs> don't you? No, know? what did Mae West say oh, about big hands? Oh, here we go. Do you know, no, tell you, us. You know, you know that you guys are known as the mouse pack? The rat pack is gone. Yeah. You're now the mouse pack. So, well, they're thrilled. So, what we do <laughs> They're is, just so, look at, they're jumping up and down. So, what we do is we, we, we sit here and watch that cook for a while. This is like it's right? Oh, another finished. hour and a half. I feel no, like it's Gladys now, Knight in the Now, do you guys want to see linguine and clams? Linguine and yeah. clams. Are you ready for that? Ready to see the linguine Next, clams. we're going to do linguine and clams. To make the linguine with the clam sauce, you're going to need one pound box of linguine, a third of a cup of olive oil, a half a stick of butter, which is optional, three cloves of garlic that are minced, four cans of clams, they're six and a half ounces each, and you retain the liquid with that, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, uh, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, and in the pot of boiling water, you cook the, the pasta, the linguine, until it's tender. And in the saucepan is when you heat the oil and the butter until it melts, and you add the garlic. And you cook that until golden. You stir in the clams with their liquid, the pepper, and the parsley. And you let that cook for about five minutes. After that's cooked, you drain out the linguine, and you return it to the pot. You add the clam sauce to the linguine. You toss that on there. And you serve with wonderful, great uh, Romano cheese that's already grated, some crusty bread, and if you would like, you can throw in a little white wine also. Why not? Okay. How's that, guys? That's that sounds great. great. You did that okay. Okay. Up, up. <laughs> you didn't cover al dente, though. Oh, you're right. The linguine has to be cooked al dente. Mm, you're absolutely right. Well. Yeah. You did that very well, Nancy. Well, thank you very much. Sure. Thank you very al dente. much. Nancy, what was Larry doing while you were doing this? I have no clue. I, was I thought you were going to keep an eye on him. I did. <laughs> okay. I don't Larry, is it done? It's almost done. Good. Larry, don't that screw has. it up, okay? Do you know, all <laughs> chefs are supposed to have a glass of wine when they cook. Is that, is that cooked that fast? It only takes 20 yeah. minutes to cook at all. And it's ready. And it's ready. Yeah. That's so it. There's no and there's no simmering. I don't feel like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Simmer 20 minutes. The pasta takes al dente to cook, what, six, seven minutes? That's it. And that's it. And the pasta has been cooking already for four minutes. Pasta's I'm going ready. Into the six, yes. Minutes, seven, I think. The pasta, yeah, the pasta's yeah, like been on little, for a while, but like it's ready now. Chewy. So mm -hmm. after it simmers. Hello. And then? And a little cheese. Larry? Yes. Here's You're going to have the cheese now? Coming up next. Celebrity correspondent Tanya Rush will. Give a one-on-one -on -one with our uh, our guest. <laughs> this ought to be good. Hey, welcome back to What's Cooking with Larry Minetti. Larry and Nancy, it looks like you're cooking up a storm in there, but you better save me some food for later. Well, anyway, there's more to our celebrity guests than their feature films and hit TV series. They're also very passionate about the food that they love and enjoy. And you may be surprised at some of the things that tempt, tease, and tantalize our taste buds. And we're now going to find out. All right, men. Okay. My first question. Well, that was great, by the way. That was, was, that it? was, yeah, really was good. Coming from RJ. That yeah. was Thumbs better, up. much better the than the other two. Oh, yeah. oh, you weren't supposed to say the that. Others. That was his fault, the other two. <laughs> anyway, the other let's get to this, because I All need right. to learn about what you guys really okay. like. Okay. I have to ask you about cereal. What are your favorite cereals? See, I love cereal. Mm. I always require three boxes in my cupboard at all times. Yeah, I like One boxes. is life. So, Tom. Cheerios and Kicks. 
together. Mixed? In a tall bowl with a little bit of raisins. As they drop to the bottom, you get, you capture the raisins as they're falling through the milk. That's now, my deal. Now, do you non-fat milk, whole milk, 2% what? I go for the 2%. The I go non-fat. <laughs> okay, so what about you? It's a ritual, RJ.